Okay, welcome ladies and gentlemen back to uh, the Vanilla Project. Uh, now this is the first time I am going to be on my own in one of these videos. And uh, that's a pretty scary prospect for me. Those of you who uh, may know me in real life will know that I'm not a big talker. I'm, uh, I'm more of the silent Bob character that kind of sits around and listens to everything and then just chimes in with those absolutely astounding pieces of uh, genius wisdom. Well, okay, maybe not, but you know. Uh, I'm, I'm not the most talkative person anyway, so uh, this is pretty much well out of my comfort zone. So I've decided to uh, back myself up by having on standby uh, Fozzy Bear's top 10 jokes. Uh, for example, just down here I've got, uh, why did the chicken cross the internet? To get to the other site. So, when I run out of things to say, you can uh, rely on genius uh, jokes like that to keep you entertained. Isn't that exciting? So, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Anyway, um, last time you may remember that uh, Clanderwood and I were building this pub, and uh, that's still kind of going on but uh, I don't really, I don't know I think we weren't really adventurous enough I don't think that's going to be big enough for our purposes because uh, we want it to be like a proper inn uh, so it's got to have a bar area it's got to have uh, maybe a little restaurant area something like that and uh, definitely obviously upstairs um, needs to be sizable so that we can get a few rooms in there and of course got to set up a room for me and a room for Clanderwood and uh, Hopefully, uh, we might get some other people playing on here as well to uh, join me in these videos. And if that happens, then of course they're going to need rooms too. So I, I just don't think the size of this thing is going to be enough. Uh, also, I made it out of cobblestone, which kind of looks a bit rubbish really. So maybe we should try and get some uh, better materials. Or maybe just cook it up, actually. That's a good idea. Let's cook it all up and, and make um, bricks of some sort. But, uh, of course, the other thing that you, you should probably know, if you don't already, is that um, I have absolutely no clue how to play this game, really. Um, so, without Clanderwood to kind of uh, hold my hand and tell me how to make an axe and things like that, uh, this is probably not going to go very well. But uh, there is one cool feature, actually, that I wanted to add in. Maybe I'll stick it around here. Um... Because of course, to you burn up the the cobblestone, smelt that to make it into proper stone, and then into stone bricks. I'm going to need to uh, fuel Clanderwood's uh, furnace collection over here, and uh, I don't really fancy going out and chasing a load of uh, uh, coal or whatever. Maybe I could use wood, but I don't know. So I thought maybe we could uh, find a source of lava and maybe bring it closer in here so let's give that a go. Uh, chances are there's probably going to be a few cuts in this video as well because it's boring for you to watch and uh, I'm basically uh, rubbish at saying things that are entertaining so um, let's get on with it and let's see what we can do and uh, I think I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna put it in this cave it's gonna be pretty cool yeah I've got one bucket of lava already so uh, I'm gonna build that and then uh, then we'll see where we go from there. Right, so as you can see in this cave, I have uh, put a ton of lava because I think A, it looks pretty cool, and B, we could do with lava to supply the uh, ovens in there, the furnaces in there. Um, but now that I've done this, uh, I was trying to figure it out because I know I'd seen in some other videos that you can like make an infinite water source. Um, how to do the same lava and having done all this and spent ages kind of uh, figuring it out, getting hold of the lava and blah 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 uh, I've now discovered that you can't do an infinite lava source at all so uh, there's a bit of a waste of time really but hey you know anyway I've got a little bit of lava so uh, we can uh, use that for now and uh, we'll go and cook up some cobblestone so let's put all our cobblestone in there as much as we can find uh, oh yeah, I died once or twice as well, so my inventory is now totally empty, um, which is perfect really, but hey, you know, that's the way life goes. Um, I also have built a bed um, over here, because uh, before I started this video I died about three times and uh, kept spawning back over the other side of uh, 
the map and uh, having to make my way back here again. So I've uh, collected stuff, killed some spiders, um, and some sheep got some wool and stuff, and made a bed here. So hopefully that won't happen again now. Uh, we're still pretty uh, exposed up here because I got chased by uh, a skeleton and somehow ended up jumping down on top of here. But I guess I came off the top of the trees or something. But um, anyway, uh, he followed me and he came down into the building. So the building is not currently safe. So I guess we should put a roof on it as well. Uh, what's going on here? How's that doing? Five. Yeah, it's pretty slow, isn't it? Uh, okay, well, while we're waiting for that to cook, uh, let's go for another fuzzy joke. Okay, so a guy asked me if I'd taken a bath today, so I said to him, Why? Is one missing? Uh, why is, is one missing? You see, because the bath, if, if there's bath, have I taken the bath, then is it? Never mind. Anyway, how's this going? Eight. Uh, great, okay. Uh, well, I guess I could put some more lava in there, but at the moment there's nothing to cook. So uh, I'm going to need more than 53 anyway, so let's go and mine a bit more. Oh, more rock if we can uh, figure out how to successfully navigate a door. Like I said, I am not great at this game. So let's just get ourselves a ton more. We can make this place a bit bigger. And uh, go from there. Oh, and I'm drowning. Yeah, I really shouldn't be allowed in here on my own. It's not a good idea. Ah, there we go. Uh, do you know why fish are so smart? It's uh, because they always swim in schools. That was uh, a bit obvious, really. If you if you just thought about that, then you probably probably would have got it. I think. Right, got me some better weapons again now. Uh, let's see, how's all this stuff doing? Oh, wonderful, we got 60 stone over in this one. And that one's still going too. Let's, uh, let's put what we got left in here, see how that goes. Meanwhile, That does make stone bricks, that's good. What are we doing? Lovely stone bricks, there we go. Okay, let's uh, start expanding this place then. Uh, which direction should we go? I guess we go that way. Uh, Big tree there. That's uh, not going to make things easy, but hey, let's uh, go for it anyway. And oh, I haven't got an axe. Let's uh, make him. Oh, I've just used up all this. Oh no, I haven't. Still got a bit of stone left. That's good. Let's make an axe. There we go. And we will cut our way through here. Get a bit more wood, you know. So yeah, let's uh, not be stupid. Let's. Make it daytime so that we don't get attacked. Because, you know, that's how uh, we need to do this. Do it sensibly. Because that's what I'm like. I am the most sensible person ever, as uh, anyone will. Anyone who knows me will be able to tell you that. Well, you know, he's the sensible one. He never does anything stupid. Uh, why did the hot dog wear a sweater? Because it was a chili dog. Get it? Chili dog? Because chili is like a hot, um, hot kind of plant that makes things hot, but actually chili, the word chili also. Yeah, never mind. Um, anyway, uh, how far out are we going to want to go with this? Let's uh, mark this out. We probably want to go deeper as well. Let's bring the entrance out to sort of here, maybe. Yeah, that's looking good. So we'll have the doors there. Oh dear. I screwed up that, didn't I? Uh, 
these things stay as bricks if I knock them down? Let's hope so. Yeah, they seem to. That's good. Right. And let's come out maybe this far. Yeah, that's a pretty good size. Fair bit of grassland on the way, you know. Should probably build myself a shovel, shouldn't I? Save myself a bit of time, but hey, that's that's not how I roll. Generally I don't roll, I, I kind of walk around or usually I drive actually. I, I love I've got a nice car, I like my car. So generally speaking, I will drive places as opposed to rolling. Uh, it's my favourite form of transport. Wow. What did the lady duck say when she was buying lipstick? Just put it on my bill. My, my bill. Because she, she's a duck, so she has a bill. Actually, why? She doesn't have a lip. Why the hell is she buying lipstick? Seems a bit weird to me. Uh, that is disturbing. Um, we're closed, mate. Yeah, yeah, we're closed. Can you see we're refurbishing? We're like, not. That'll sort him. Okay, so I've been uh, working hard. We started over here by adding in a nice little lava feature, which, although it turns out isn't actually going to be functional, it uh, at least looks nice, which is cool. And uh, this is what uh, the inn is currently looking like. I mean, it's not really traditional country pub style obviously we've got some work to do still adding in uh, the logs in the corners things like that but uh, yeah I've got some glass in the windows now so skeletons aren't shooting and uh, most importantly uh, I've, I've shifted outside Glanderwood's uh, nice little flower bed here he'll be pleased to see that I guess we should probably put these under the windows actually maybe even I'll, uh, while I'm here I'll just make the window a little bit wider there we go that suits it a bit better now. So uh, yeah, we've got a solid wall over this side. And uh, yeah, let's go and take a look. So this is what it looks like. I've uh, also lost a pressure pad, so I need to put a new one of those there. I've done the whole floor now, dividing wall, all by a couple of little holes that need sorting. So I'm guess thinking we're going to have um, a uh, sort of seating dining area out here. This will be the restaurant part of the building. And uh, yeah, it's all lovely. And this side we're going to have a bar across here. And uh, the kitchen's over the back here. So maybe we'll have an L-shaped bar across this portion of the room like that. And the people can stand around here and have their drinks. Maybe some counters along these sides like that. It's pretty good. Kitchen's all furnished up. I think we could probably afford to have a few less furnaces. But well, we're still building things. They're always handy for smelting. And... Uh, Obviously the stairs are looking a bit wrong at the moment, so we'll probably um, replace those with an oak staircase, a dark oak staircase to match those. And uh, I've got uh, Kane's room, here's my bedroom. Uh, this is where I'll be staying, obviously, nice and spacious there. And uh, I've, I've kind of done these in terms of stature, so I've got this lovely view across, um, across where the village is going to be. And... Uh, you know, side views as well, things like that. Nice double bed, lots of space. There's going to be lots of furniture and stuff in here. And Clanderwood's room, um, you know, subject to status. Uh, this is this is where Clanderwood's going to be staying. Um, it's just a little... Oh, if I can... Uh, there we go. Uh, the trouble is, when you get near your bed, you kind of... Oh, whoops, door's open. So he's going to have to be uh, a bit careful. Might have to hop over if he wants to come out. Uh, we haven't got a bathroom or anything yet, so we'll have to get that sorted out. But uh, yeah, that's uh, looking good there for Clanderwood. I'm sure he'll be happy and comfortable. Um, I've got room in mind to put a little ensuite, perhaps. 
Got sarstic something. Maybe in this gap over here above the stairs. Uh, yeah, I could make that a bit into my little ensuite, couldn't I? That could work. Yeah, let's have a little bathroom for me over there. Maybe just a, a little washroom. I mean, we're only going to stay here temporarily anyway, so uh, we'll get ourselves uh, uh, bigger houses in the village once we've done it. But for now, we're going to have to stay in the inn. So, um, yeah. Um, out of fuzzy bear jokes now, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to uh, say goodbye for now. Uh, I'm sure I'll get some... Uh, that's interesting. <laughs> nice window out into a bit of mud. As you do. So yeah, I'm going to... Say goodbye for now, and uh, we'll catch up again next time. See you later. As much as I like art cinema and uh, stuff where you can figure out the plot lines, there's definitely a time for watching shit blow up. <laughs>